This is Sophie, whom you've met briefly in my selfie video. She is my five-year-old dachshund, or in Italian, basotto. I adopted her when she was just three months old, or I should say, she adopted me. At that time, I was living in Venice, Italy. My future husband and best friend drove outside Venice to visit a woman who had several puppies for sale. I sat patiently in a room as the owner brought in the puppies, of which I was to choose one. Well, this was almost impossible because, as we all know, puppies are so cute. I wanted all of them. The puppies were running around, barking, playing together, when this quiet and very shy one came to me. I picked her up, and she immediately curled up in my lap. I knew that this was the one. While living in Venice, Sophie loved to play in St. Elena, an island of Venice. On the island, there is a beautiful park where dogs run free. St. Elena lies at the eastern tip of the main island group and forms part of the Sestiere of Castello. The original island was separated by an arm of the Venetian lagoon from Venice itself and was centered on the church of St. Elena and its monastery, originally built in the 12th century and rebuilt in the 15th. The island has since been expanded to fill in the gap and is linked to Venice by three bridges. Sophie and I have many beautiful Venetian friends and family. She even has her own Italian passport. We were missing our friends, family, and this magical, dog-friendly city, so I decided it was time for another visit. We packed our bags, and from Brooklyn, we took the A train to the air train to JFK Airport. It was a smooth flight from the time we boarded the plane to when we landed in Venice. My husband Vince met us at the airport where we took a taxi to Piazza di Roma. Piazza di Roma is the main bus station at the entrance of Venice. There are bus links to Venice Marco Polo Airport and Treviso Airport. The square is close to the main Santa Lucia railway station linked by the Ponte della Costituzione, a modern footbridge over the western end of the Grand Canal installed in 2008. The Vaporetto, or water bus, is the public transit system that connects Tronchetto Island and Piazza di Roma. These two places are the only place where cars, taxis, and buses are allowed. The sunsets are amazing in Venice. In the evening, we gathered with friends and locals for an aperitif. Happy hour is a very important time to unwind and chat about the day. Spritz is the preferred choice of drink, served with a bowl of potato chips. A spritz consists of prosecco, aperol, and a splash of soda. During happy hour, Sophie loves to mingle with other dogs, eat as many chips as possible, and visit tourists dining outdoors. On Saturday, Sophie and I went to Rialto Market. The market is located near the Rialto Bridge. Locals and tourists frequent this centuries-old market for fruit, fish, and vegetables. At the market, we bought flowers, fish, and veggies for our evening dinner. Sunday, Sophie and our friend Mata went to Lido. Venice Lido is a seven-mile-long sandbar island in Venice. To get to Lido, we took the Vaporetto from Venice, which crosses the sea. The heart of the island is the Gran Viale Santa Maria Elisabetta, a wide street that houses hotels, shops, and tourist restaurants. From the Gran Viale, we took a bus to Pachuca, a dog-friendly beach where your four-legged friends can mingle, go for a swim, or simply relax. After a long day at the beach, we return home for a shower and rest up for dinner. My husband Vince manages Taverna Al Ramer, a very popular restaurant in Venice. Sylvie and I decided to go there for dinner. At Ramer, we ate delicious food, mingled with friends, and listened to local musicians play. Vince finished work around midnight. Exhausted but completely content, we took the Vaporetto home. <laughs>